And for that, we're going to bring up my colleague and uh, new best friend, Andy Runquist, Hamline University. <laughs> Andy is fabulous for this. Why, what do you have there in your hand? Andy? I have a uh, candle. That looks very dangerous, Andy. It, it is very, very dangerous. Andy, if, if I were to light this candle, uh, you know that you could. Oh, jeez. You could take that candle, Andy, walk up to these, this backdrop and set it on fire. I know. Should I do that? That would set the white thing on fire. Yeah. Who knows what would happen? The wire insulation would catch on fire. The carpeting would catch on fire. The Bowl of America would catch on fire. Minneapolis St. Paul would be destroyed. Albert Lee would disappear. <laughs> or you could just be careful with it because it's a candle. I'll try. So you have a lot of experience with this. Yeah. Can I, uh, can we bring in somebody to help us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have someone to bring in. Donna Grace, do you want to come on up? Donna Grace. Hi. That's all right. You want it? There you go. Won a contest. Are you wearing a microphone? No. Yeah, I will lean in. You won a contest, right? That is correct. Uh, uh, and that was contest was sponsored by what unique organization? Sophia.org. Yes! <laughs> and you wrote a tweet. I wrote a tweet. Yeah, that I wrote a tweet. What, were, what was the, cr the crux, the high point of the tweet? I heart Bill Nye with all of my hypothalamus. Oh, yes! I love you. Yeah. So, uh, Andy, I'll watch okay. while you deploy uh, uh, your trombone. Well, before we do the trombone, we want to talk about how you blow out a candle. Oh, good point. So can good you demonstrate, point. Bill? Do you think you could do it? Try. Do you, do you need some fanning? All right, here we go. Yeah! Now, Donna Grace, we've been down this road about setting the stage and fire the thing, the Albert Lee <laughs> joke and all that. Yeah. Safety first. So what did you do, Bill? What was involved? Well, based on that last demonstration you saw with the milk bottle, you might think that when I blew on it, the oxygen was used up, and that's what put out the candle. I submit to you that that is not the case. It is instead that when I blow on it, I cool the wick of the candle off so fast that uh, it cannot sustain its combustion. The fire triangle. Fuel, which in this case is? Uh, oxygen. Uh, how about wax? Wax. Wax. <laughs> oxygen, which is? A gas. <laughs> oxygen. And then the third one, do you remember of the fire triangle? Nope. Heat. 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 Yes. Brilliant. And so uh, you cool it off. And we will show you that it is not the carbon dioxide from my breath that extinguishes the candle. Now, Andy will use sound waves, is that right? Yeah, well, we're going to have them use their sound waves. Oh, cool, OK, oh, cool. So one of the things that's really interesting is we need the air molecules to move. We need them to move fast. Um, and so we could all blow it out, but we don't know if you've brushed your teeth today. So instead, what we thought we would do is move the air molecules around here in a way that's pretty easy to do over long distances. And that's the sound that you hear right now. If you can hear me. I'm moving the air molecules in your ear right now, even the people way up there. So the question is, can we work together using sound to blow this candle out? Well, I don't know, Andy. Can we? Well, let's give it a shot. So on the count of three, we're going to scream at the candle. <laughs> Be prepared. What are we going to yell? What are, how about uh, science? Science. Good. So, Donna Grace, this is going to be loud. Are you going to be able to handle it? OK. On the count of three, we're going to yell science right at the candle. We're going to see if we can blow it out. One, two, three, science! Not much. And Not much. Andy, that's it? I know. Sound is like nothing. That's it? I can be louder, though. You want me to be louder? Uh, I'm not sure. All right. Oh. The uh, head of the uh, Hamlin University pep band yeah. that used to be on stage with us. <laughs> All right, so trombones can be really loud. I would not recommend putting your ear right next to this. But what's going to happen if I walk all the way up to it while playing a note relatively loudly? 
question is, can I blow the candle out? Are you ready? It's One out. test is worth a thousand expert opinions. <laughs> That was nothing, dude. I know, it's like nothing. Yeah. We got anything better? Yes. We'll yeah, rotate we that to keep the wax going. So Still sound, you guys. Sound is, can be loud and moves some molecules in your ears, but it's not enough. We've got something that can move more. You want to try this sucker? Oh, you're going to give her a stool. All right. Do you want to try it? Oh, I'll try it. Yes. Go ahead. This is the Mark I. Vortex ring generator. Yes, to the untrained eye, this might look like a trash can. But oh no, my friend. So, uh, Donna Grace, if you would stand 90 degrees to what you are right now so people behind you can see the candle. Then, uh, using what we, the equipment we have here, can you hold the candle a little lower? So, I submit to you that when I compress the volume inside the uh, trash can of science. We will produce a pulse of air suitable to extinguishing the candle. Three, two, what? Oh! Yes. Bill Nye came to the Mall of America and blew out a candle. Yes. I've never seen anything like it. It was astonishing. Uh, but Bill, no, they, they can't see what they're doing. You want me to make it so you can see? Well, so here's what I'd like you to do. Uh, hold on the I mean, hey, girlfriend, excuse me, my esteemed colleague, we're not done. Safety demonstration. Oh. There's quite a breeze in here. So now I'm going to block the air with this ordinary piece of paper, except it has my logo on it. This is a piece of paper of science! Are you ready? Yes. One more? Yes. And I'll show you one more. Oh, I need a little more so a little softer, yeah. Uh, no, you hit it harder, so that's not what I meant. I have to hold the paper with less. Yes! So it blocks the candle now. Donna Grace. Oh, hold it. Wait, nobody leave this room. Nobody leave this room. <laughs> Do you recognize this? Yes. <laughs> you blow words into it so when they pop, <laughs> they swear. <laughs> All right. So do you recognize it now? Yes. What is it? It's a balloon. What'd you say? It's a balloon. No. I mean, sort of. Now what is, oh here, sorry. Now what? I don't know, it's backwards. It's a fish. <laughs> obvious, obvious. <laughs> oh, by the way, see this pen? You know who gave me that? I'm not joking you, just dropping some names. That's how cool I am. dropper. Neil gave me this. Neil Tyson gave me this. <laughs> Are you ready? Three, two, one. You blew it out. No. So what happens, the air pressure uh, in the room constrains the pulse of air so that it is held on the surface of the balloon and gets to the back and cools the candle wick out just like that. It's not magic, it's yes. Now. What do you think the shape of the pulse of air that comes out of the trash can? Oh, you all are so smart. You might think it's a sphere or a ball. You might think it's a bullet shape or a torpedo or something. But it's this right here. Take it. Three, two, one. Oh. So you'll notice right there the ring went right around the candle and did not extinguish it. Again? Yeah. And so when the ring hits the candle, it puts it out. It's not magic, it's... Well, keep getting blasted. Blast. Party on, dude. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, that's really cool. Thank you. Stick around if you can. So uh, here's the step in thought for those of you looking for steps in thought. When we're up here talking, when you're talking to each other and so on, the, the molecules of air are bumping into each other at the speed of sound, yes, not the speed of light, yes, speed of sound. And so they're not moving between me and you. They're just bumping into each other. But in this case, we have a ring of air passing through air. Do, 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 do. And this subtle and amazing thing, it turns out when you push it all, when the equations are elegant and beautiful, everything cancels out and you get a ring with the air spinning in a ring. And so because the air is both spinning in the ring and moving, it has enough air speed to put the candle out. So Andy, if you would, push it pretty gently, okay? But you'll notice there's quite an airflow up here. I have to block the lighter to energize things. Give it a slow push. Yeah, so now nose up ever so. Boom! Now, so even when it's not moving fast, it puts the candle out because it's both translating and spinning. It's not magic, it's science! Yes!